So I want to share with you this uh, combinatorics problem that I saw. So you know the binomial coefficient that you learned in your calculus class, n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. What I want us to prove is that n choose 2 choose 2. OK, so a binomial coefficient inside of a binomial coefficient is equal to 3 times n choose 4 plus 3 times n choose 3. OK? So pause the video, try it on your own, see if you could find a solution. And when you're done trying, come on back. All right, welcome back. So the first thing to note, we're not going to use this formula for the binomial coefficient. It's going to get too messy. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to provide a combinatorial proof. So the first thing to note is that the binomial coefficient n choose k is equal to the number of k element subsets of an n element set. OK? Uh, let's write out a quick example so you could believe that. So for example, uh, 4 choose 2. So that's going to, well, you could compute that using this formula. It's 6. But let's list out all two element subsets of a four element set. So let's list out the two element subsets of the numbers 1 through 4. That would be uh, 1, 2. 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, and 3, 4. Okay, and it's going to be a lot easier for us to prove this identity if we use this fact. So we're going to provide a combinatorial proof. So in our case, let's just look at this top part of this big binomial coefficient. n choose 2, using this fact, is the number of two element subsets of what we call bracket n, which is just the numbers 1 through n. Okay. So here we have, this is the number of two element subsets of bracket n. So the next fact that we're going to use, or the next observation, is that n choose 2 choose 2. So this left hand side of our equation is equal to the number of sets of sets, so we'll call these A and B, these are sets, such that, well, it's going to be, a, these are all two element subsets. So A and B are both going to be two element subsets uh, of, of 1 through n. So the size of A equals the size of B equals 2. These sets are not equal to each other, because it's a, a set here a two element set. And they're both subsets of n. OK, so maybe you need to think about why this is true for a little bit. But basically, what we're going to do is we would list out all two element subsets of 1 through n and just choose two of them. OK, and so that's what we're left with here. All right, so now there's two cases we need to consider. It's possible that this will be our first case. So case one, A and B are disjoint. So A intersect B uh, is the empty set. OK, and so let's count the number of ways that this is possible. And hopefully when we count it, we get something on this right-hand side of our equation. OK, so if A intersect B is the empty set, A union B is equal to 
well, let's just call it A, B, C, D, it's going to be four elements because there's no intersection. It's a subset of N. OK? And there are three different ways that this could happen. You know, without loss of generality, we could assume that A is in the set A. So there's three ways this could happen. It could be AB unioned with CD. Or maybe we had AC union with BD. And then the last case is A and D are together. So AD union with BC. OK, so there's three cases. So that's a 3 times, well, each four element subset of 1 through n uh, has to be counted. So 3 times n choose 4. OK, so case 1 happens 3 times n choose 4 times, which is exactly this term here. That's great. And now case 2. is that A intersect B is not empty. OK, but we said that A does not equal B. So the size, so in this case, the size of this intersection is 1. OK, so we can't have a total. Uh, they can't be the same set. But they could overlap with one element. Their union, A union B, is going to be, well, they have an intersection of 1. So it's not going to be all four. There's just going to be three elements in the union. And there's a number of ways that this could happen. It's either A is in both sets, B is in both sets, or C is in both sets. So let's list those out so you believe me. So A, B, union, A, C. Uh, let's say A, B, union, B, C. And then the last case would be A, C, union, B, C. OK? And so there's three ways for each three element subset of 1 through n. That's n choose 3. And then you just have to ask yourself, are you convinced that these two cases are disjoint? Well, it can't be the case that a intersect b is empty and a intersect b is not empty. So they are disjoint. So we have just shown that n choose 2 choose 2 is equal to 3 times n choose 4 plus 3 times n choose 3. OK? And, and that's it. So this is how you do a combinator combinatorial proof. I'm sure you could have done this algebraically. It just would have been a, a mess. Let me know in the comments if you tried it algebraically. Um, you're, you're brave if you did that. OK, um, let me know how the video quality is. I keep trying to tweak it. I know the first few weren't, weren't that good. So let me know how uh, the video quality is. And if you have any thoughts or feelings, let me know in the comments. And I'll try to get back to you. All right, bye bye.